Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are still on board. <laughs> it is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you are wanting? Yeah. It moves about, yes? You are ready for some expansion? You think you've got this law of attraction thing down? Now you are... Hmm? It's got you down? Well, it is immovable, isn't it? It is what it is. And we all, all partners in this universe of co-creating, all of us, all of us are adapting adapting to each other, adapting to the law of attraction, in other words, because it is responding to vibration. And so an awareness of what it is, an awareness of what a point of attraction is, an awareness of what you are offering vibrationally, helps you to understand why things come to you in the way they do, why your vibrations turn to the thoughts that turn to the things, why is your life the way that it is? Why is anyone else's life the way that it is? The thing about the observation of others and the manifestations of others is that you were not in on the vibration that began the materialization of their experience. You can't feel inside of them the relationship between their day-to-day -day thoughts about this and that and what their own inner being is thinking about the same thing. So you don't really know what their vibrational experience is. Sometimes it's evident to you by the way they behave. Sometimes you can observe others and you can get a sense of what's going on with them vibrationally because when people behave emotionally, whether it is the emotion that is displayed as positive emotion or whether it is the emotion that is displayed as negative emotion, you have a sort of sense that they've got something going on in their vibration that is causing that reaction. But it is far more important that you understand what you've got going on in your vibration that is causing your emotion. Because when others around you are displaying emotions, when you are observing whatever they are, and then you are having an emotional response to their emotion, now you're often just part of their chain of pain, or you are reacting to a positive condition perhaps, but in any case, you are living a conditional life. You're responding to conditions, which means you're not really in the control that you mean to be in control of. Because there are so many around you with varying degrees of relationship between their inner being. You know what we're talking about? Their inner being who exists in their vibrational reality, who has an opinion, perspective is a better word, opinion sounds negative and it isn't, but a perspective, your inner being has a perspective of everything that you are about moment by moment by moment. And when you get crossways, and we mean that, when you get crossways of the way your inner being feels about something, then you get agitated, then you get wonky, then you get out of sorts. And it is that relationship between you and you that we want to call your attention to incessantly, rather than reacting to what others have got going on with theirs, because that will keep you out of balance all the time. As you are trying to speculate, well, what went wrong there, or what was that all about? All you do is add vibrational countenance to it in your own regard. In other words, all you do is practice a vibration that may not be serving you. And so we're asking something rather precarious from you. It's a little tricky because you were born into this leading edge time-space reality as an extension of pure positive energy. And you were born into, you deliberately were born into contrasting situations, variety. And as you are then in this variety, the variety is what causes you to form your own opinions. It's what causes you to put things into your own vortex. It is, 
exactly what causes your personal expansion. And collectively, it's what causes the expansion of your time and space. It's also what causes the expansion universally. You are the leading edge of that which is us. And your exposure to your contrast is important to the expansion of all things, you say. And so the precariousness of your situation is that it's important that you explore because if you don't know what you don't want, you don't know what you do want, you cannot choose, you could not even focus without that contrast. And yet at the same time, we're asking you, while you are exploring the contrast, don't get too carried away in the knowing what you don't want part of it. What you are really wanting, step one happens without you having any conscious realization of it really. Step two is not your work. That's the work of your inner being, those like us. Step three is what your work really is, which is lining up with who you really are. But sometimes you want to beat the drum of what went wrong much longer than is necessary or practical or of value to you. And so, as you are the creative genius that you are, we are anticipating that in this environment, it may be easier for you to explore the positive aspects of the conditions that surround you, because there certainly are many. But still, we really do not want you to train yourself to be conditional. We would so much rather that you care about how you feel than anything else. Because when you care about how you feel, now your thoughts are more easily guided by you toward the things that you've been asking for, or better stated, toward the things that you have become. We want to begin today by reminding you that when life causes you to ask for something and you shoot without even knowing you've done it, a rocket of desire, a vibrational request into the universe, you create a vibrational version of you that is from our point of view, current. It's present tense. Now, to you it doesn't feel like present tense because you haven't usually caught up with it quite yet. It's not your normal thought. It's a thought that exploded from you. It's a thought that we embraced and that we are focused upon. But for you, it often feels to you like that's a future thought. In other words, the mate I want or the financial remuneration that I want or the improved this or that that I want. Since it hasn't manifested to you yet, it feels like a future experience. I'm dreaming of when that will come. I'm hoping for it to come. I'm desiring that it comes. But we want you to understand that from our point of view, it has already come. You have given birth to it and it is gestating in this vibrational environment, getting ready for you to be ready for it. But if you continue to stand in your physical manifested point of view, and you are thinking of the things that you're asking for as future tense, then often you say things like, oh, I so look forward to that coming, which means I'm not very happy since it has not yet come to me yet. So we're going to ask you to do a little bit of time travel. In the sense, we want you, especially by the time that these seminars on this wonderful voyage have come to a completion, we want you to understand, understand, such a good word, understand, vibrationally understand, the understanding, everything that is beneath what is happening to you in terms of manifestation, this understanding. We want you to understand how this universe works and we want you to understand how you feel when you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on and how you feel when you're not and what the results of either choice really are. Don't do it for anyone else because you don't owe anything to anyone. But it is what you intended to do. You said, I will come forth into a physical environment and I will explore the variety that surrounds me. And from this magnificent variety, of wanted and unwanted experiences that I will be exposed to. I will come to my own personal conclusions about who I am, who I am, who I am, not who I will be, who I am. Because the only power that you have is in the now. It's the amness of now, not the what I will be and not the what I have been. It's who I am now, which means how I feel now, how I feel now. How am I managing my thoughts now? What am I choosing from whatever is around me? What am I focusing on? What am I focusing on? And what is it creating emotionally within me? Because you have the power to create within yourself emotionally in any point in time, something that feels very good to you. And when you do that, that means you are in the now, in sync 
with the now of your inner being, which means there's no separation between the now of your inner being, where everything that you want is, and the now of who you are, which means there's a smooth transfer right into your manifested experience. Everything that you have been dreaming of and everything that you have been hoping for, now you are in vibrational alignment with it. And now the vibration and the thoughts that are in this vibrational reality are turning to the things of your life. The rendezvous that you're having, the people that you are meeting, the thoughts that are coming into your mind, the ideas. Your timing becomes perfect. You just glide on this smooth transfer of information from thought to thing and thought to thing and thought to thing with magnificent things showing themselves to you all around you. Evidence, not of your worthiness, that's a given, while well, you don't know it, but evidence of your alignment, evidence of your alignment with the whole of who you are. Now we know, sarcasm coming, get ready. <laughs> it's a terrible price to pay, that price of happiness for everything that you desire. But that really is what it's all about. You must learn to manage your happiness and stop asking others to perform in ways that make you happy. You must manage your own happiness. Nobody else is doing it, only you, you see. Ah, 